Okay, uh, so in problem uh, 86, 86, we have a line of charge that's positively charged with some linear charge density lambda, and we have an electron that goes around this right? because of the electric field that's produced by, uh, by this uh, line of charge. Now, uh, the electric field for this line of charge has already been calculated in one of the examples, uh, I believe in example 2111. So, that gives you the magnitude of the electric field is 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught. Uh, lambda over x. Okay. Uh, in this case, we are going around in a circle. So if you look at this from the top, uh, just take this picture and rotate this uh, 90 degrees, we are going to have our line of charge at the center and an electron going around in a circle. Let's call the radius of the circle r because they are telling us uh, the radius of this circle is r. Then this distance to the line of charge is not going to be x, but uh, it's going to be r. But it's, it's the same problem. It's the same problem that's already been solved uh, in, the, uh, in the example. Okay, so I'm not going to go over this uh, again. Now, uh, this is part A for the, for the problem. Uh, by the way, uh, so this is something characteristic. So for a point charge, the electric field strength decreases as 1 over r squared. For a line of charge, it decreases as 1 over r. For a surface of charge, uniform uh, charge distribution, it's constant. It doesn't drop at all. Right, so r squared r and r to the zero, so to say. Um, so this is going to, so the electric field here is going to look like this. An electron being negatively charged is going to feel a force. So the force felt by the electron is going to be the electric field times charge of the electron because the charge of the electron is negative. The force is going to be opposite to the electric field. It's going to be towards this line. So there is a uh, there is a central force, centripetal force, that makes this uh, electron go around in a circle. And they're asking us in part B, what is the speed of the electron? And we can uh, cal calculate the speed by recognizing this electro electro electrostatic force to be the centripetal force uh, for the motion of the electron. Right, so it's going around in a circular motion. So centripetal force must be. Uh, mass of the electron times v square over r, uh, whatever speed it's uh, going around. And uh, this is going to be equal to the charge of the electron times the electric field, which is 1 over 2 pi epsilon naught lambda over r. Okay, And here you see that the r's cancel. And you can find that uh, V square uh, is going to be QE lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught Me. Okay. And uh, these you can look up. And the rest uh, you can just uh, plug in from the, from the book. Again, you need to look up epsilon naught, but lambda is uh, something given. Uh, it is to be 0 0.14 microcoulombs per meter. Right? So in principle, you can calculate all of this.